Hey, welcome back, Tony Ferris, uh, author of Park Place, creator of Park Place Education. I thank you, I honor you, I congratulate you for sticking around to part number four of part number seven on why I found that mobile home parks were a superior asset class as opposed to other assets out there. Uh, again, I talk about it all the time. Don't listen to what I'm saying. Test the numbers for yourself. You, you, you work your butt off for your money, for your capital, for your investments, for your family. Let me ask you, I wouldn't want to just take one person's advice. Test, do the testing yourself. Be your own best educator. Again, I'm here. I'm here for you. It's my job to help you. It's my job to answer all the questions that you have, but test the numbers. Test the asset classes. Okay, so with mobile home parks, here you've got multifamily, student housing, overall average, self-storage, and manufactured housing. Source is Sun Communities. Okay, with, with mobile home parks, you're, you have a lower operating cost. Now, multifamily, okay, you, I don't know if you've invested in apartments or duplexes or triplexes, but if you have 100 apartments, you got 100 toilets to fix. You got 100 common areas that need to be fixed. You have laundry facilities, you've got pools, you've got parks, you've got maintenance, you've got overhead, you've got employees, you've got, I could, you've got all day long, now, student housing, uh, essentially the same thing, but a, a lower operating cost. Uh, average, 6.2, I don't know where they get that, that, that number. Sun Communities is like one of the biggest players out there, so owning tens and tens and tens of thousands of mobile home parks and, and units. So, self-storage is, it's definitely uh, lower. You, you pretty much broom out the unit and there's not a whole lot to do. Um, again, you've, you've got a you got a manager that's that's up front. Uh, they might be cranking the air on all day long at like 65 degrees, so you got that overhead. Uh, you've you've still got all the common area. You might have a 10 acre a 10 acre storage, and you've got trees. You've got the, you got to water the trees. You've got you still got restrooms there. You might have a place uh, on the second floor for the managers to live. Is kind of common. Uh, with mobile home parks, it's a bit different. So. One of the things that I love the most is the residents own their own homes. The, the leaky faucet. No, it's their home. The toilet. Uh, no, no, it's all you, man. If you plugged it, it's your deal. If you broke it, it's your deal. It's on you. It's your home. The leaky roof. You own the home. Again, it's on you. So, okay, now let's talk about a little bit common areas. Now, they have their own plot. Sometimes it's fenced off, most of the time it's open, but they have their own area. If there's weeds in their garden, they need to pull it. If the grass needs to be mowed in their area, I, I, think, you, I think you see where I'm going with this. They need to mow it. Where other asset classes, if, again, if you have an apartment complex, and again, to each our own, some, there's a lot of great assets out there. I just want to show you why I found it was best to, to make the leap to mobile home park. So again, there's investors out there that are making millions and millions and millions in, in all these other assets, but I wanted to take a different approach. How do I spend more time with my family? How do I enjoy the moments? Be in the moment, be present. I didn't want those calls I didn't, and yeah, you've got managers of, of the apartments and managers of the self storage, but I didn't want to deal with all that hassle. I wanted to just own a plot of dirt and collect space rent. It really is that simple. And in terms of common areas, I mean, our parks literally, they, they've got a trash can. I don't even have a, a basketball hoop. Um, uh, I took it down just because of liability. I don't have a manager's office um, in most of them. Uh, we don't have uh, play sets, liability. Again, basketball courts, we don't have that. Parks, we don't have that. We basically just have a flat ground, just flat dirt area. So uh, 
Back to lower operating costs. Now, what you can do is, we went over residents own their own homes. Uh, many of the owners, they're obviously never gonna move. Uh, they pay for their own utilities. You as the owner, you're not paying the electric. You're not paying for their water. A lot of times you are though, and we're gonna get into that as well. Um, the yard work, they're responsible. They own the home, it's up to them. And then again, once you pass through the water, the, the, the sewer, uh, the trash, the, the basic utilities, that's when you definitely, uh, we're gonna get into that as well, that's where you definitely force the appreciation up in mobile home parks. Uh, with that said, that's what we're gonna cover in the next one, ability to force the appreciation.